Hi, AT from CNC at Home. For those of you that are Battlestar Galactica fans, this should be a good episode. I came across an interesting photo some time ago, and I thought it'd be fun to make a coaster out of it. There are two versions of Battlestar Galactica. There's the 1980s version, and then there's the 2000s version of Battlestar Galactica. I like them both. Very different, yet somehow kind of the same. One of the characters on the show is called Starbuck, and I saw the funniest picture. It was the two actors that play each of the, in the different series, play Starbuck, one's a man, one's a woman, and they're sitting having coffee at a Starbucks. And so the caption is, Starbuck and Starbuck having Starbucks at Starbucks. I thought that was just funny. That's my sense of humor. I thought it'd be fun to make a coaster of that. I might make one for my brother-in-law because he's also a Battlestar Galactica fan. In doing uh, my research on images, I came across a painting or an image that somebody had put together that I really liked. I thought it would make a good coaster. It shows, again, the two different uh, actors uh, in their costumes. And it also, in the bottom of the picture, I'll put it up over here, it shows the two main Galactica. The Galactic is the, the big battleship in this particular sci-fi show. What's your favorite? The old one or the new one? You can comment that down below. I'm kind of torn between the two. I like them both, so I'm not going to give my opinion right now. Um, but I do like them both. Anyway, this video is going to go through some turmoil, just like in Battlestar Galactica. I started doing the burn. I thought it was working really well, and then when I cleaned the tile off, it didn't look so good. And I assumed it was because of how I had applied the titanium dioxide coating. That's the method I'm using, taking a blank tile, painting a titanium dioxide mixture on that has basically titanium dioxide and denatured alcohol as its medium. Paint that on, let it dry, burn it in the laser, voila. Been working great for me until now. The first coaster came out, eh, not the best. I assumed at first it was because I didn't have my settings correct within Lightburn. I'm going to go through and show you some of the work that I did in Lightburn. The image that I found is relatively dark. I needed to lighten it up so that it would look better uh, when it was on a coaster. And I assumed it was I didn't do that correctly. So I made some changes, burned another tile, it came out even worse. The titanium dioxide wasn't sticking to the tile, it was just scrubbing right off. So I did another one, and it was even worse again, and so I really started panicking. It's like, what has happened to this process? It's been just so rock solid since I started doing it, and now it's failing me. I assume it's like, did I not clean the coasters properly? Am I, what am I doing wrong? And so I did some, some digging into the laser, I thought, well, maybe my air nozzle is clogged. So I took that off and cleaned it, put that back on, did a test, still not doing so well. So I took apart the laser a little bit more, and what I found was the lens inside the laser had a big old spot right in the middle of who knows what, and it was clouded. So I cleaned that off, put everything back together, did a, just a little test burn, and wow, did that come out really nicely. Let me show you kind of the sequence of events here. This is the first tile. It came out, it's really light. It's, there's these streaky lines, and I get that when I, when I paint it on, if I'm, I'm not careful how I paint it on. Uh, my mixture is very thick. I have thinned it out since, uh, and that's really helped a lot. So, not a good result. So, when I did it again, assuming that it was my settings, I, I did it again, it came out even worse. Look at this. There's hardly anything on here. And then the third time, it's just all washing and wiping right off. So that's when I was just kind of getting kind of scared. It's like, oh, what's happened to my process? So I did another tile. It didn't turn out really well. After I got everything figured out, got the lens cleaned, I did just, a, a, I took one of the tiles that had been burning on 
and you know it hadn't turned out really well and I painted just a little bit of titanium dioxide on it and I burned a circle and wham look at that that is what I'm trying to get nice black it's not real rough um, I had thinned out my titanium dioxide mixture a little bit at this point um, for for what I painted on here and that really helped because I'm really I'm putting too much on is the part of the problem with some of that so I ended up burning a coaster and this one turned out quite a bit better it's really dark and the blacks are black and turned out really well and then the actual reason for doing this whole exercise was because I wanted to have Starbuck and Starbuck at Starbucks having Starbucks kind of thing. So I took an image, again, I'll put it up over here, and I edited it, made it square, and I put the text on there so it says Starbuck and Starbuck having Starbucks at Starbucks. And it turned out really well. I'm sure I'll, I'll get a better picture to put up here. What I'm going to do is go through the process what I did in Lightburn and show some of the, the experimenting that I did with the tiles, uh, trying to get the titanium dioxide on there better. I tried applying it a different way that was a total failure. Um, the brushing method seems to work well. And for this last tile, I don't know if you can see it on here, it's very consistent. Um, I don't get those streaky lines like I do um, even on this this one, there's a little bit of that. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of that horizontal streaking. And that's from how I was painting that on. Once I thinned out my, my titanium dioxide mixture with, with a bunch more denatured alcohol, it was much easier to apply. I got a much smoother coat, and I'm very happy with how that's turned out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's head over to Lightburn and see the work I've done there. Once we're done with that, we'll see some of the laser burning real quick and see some of the issues. Look at some of the, the application methods I've tried for the titanium dioxide and then the final burn. And I'll put up pictures of these coasters. Again, which Battlestar Galactica do you like better? Not the show, the actual ship Galactica. The old one from the 80s or the new one from the 2000s? Comment that below. Let's head over to Lightburn. Before we get started in light burn, I just wanted to bring up the two images that uh, we're going to end up burning. This is the first one. These are our two characters, Starbuck, one from the original series in the 80s, the other from the series in the 2000s. The image was uh, taller than it is wide, so I cropped it down over here on the right. This is what I'm going to end up burning. This is a square image. We did cut a little bit of the Galactica off down here. If you do have a favorite Battlestar Galactica ship of these two, which one is it? Is it the original one here from the 80s, or is it the new one from the 2000s? Just put that down in the comments and let me know your thoughts. This image is a little dark. Let's take it into light burn and see what it looks like. To start with, I just go to File and click Import, and I'll bring in the first image. Here's our first image. When you do bring these in, Lightburn automatically switches it into black and white. I'm going to resize it. This is a little bit big. We know our tiles are about 109 millimeters square. I'll put that down in the lower left hand corner and zoom in. This is a very dark image. So we have that dark outer space. We have a dark logo. We have dark uniforms. Everything is dark. If we do a preview, you'll see how dark this really is. Um, we're not getting a whole lot of detail from the space or the background or the ships. Their faces aren't too bad, but still pretty dark. What I want to do is lighten these up. To do that, I will come over here and set some parameters. I'm going to lighten this up, maybe a brightness of 35. And, well, I know what the parameters are. I've played around with this enough. So I'm going to go with 35 brightness and negative 48 contrast. We do a preview on this. You'll see this actually turns out fairly nicely. So we can see their face still. We can see some of the background details. We can see the ships. So this will turn out well. The more you work with these darker images and print them out or burn them on your tiles, the more familiar, familiar you will be with 
what looks good in the preview and what looks good then in reality when you burn it. This should look pretty good. I want to try a different method for getting the titanium dioxide, which we have in this jar, onto these tiles. What I'm going to attempt to do is use a spoon. I'm just going to scoop up a little bit and then just pour it onto the tile and then just kind of move the tile around. I'll probably have it in my hand like this. I'll move it around to see if I can get it to cover the whole tile and then I'll set it over here to dry. What I found with painting is it, it's too easy to leave streaks and that leaves different thicknesses of the titanium dioxide. So we'll just stir this up a little bit, just swirl it around, get our suspension in there nice and nice and good. Okay, so I've cleaned these in theory, they should be clean. And so what I want to do is I'm gonna have to tip this a little sideways to get a good good spoonful here. Pour that on and see if I can get this to this is so much thicker than it really should be <laughs> that's that's part of the part of the issue I'm having you can see the chunks in here even I should I should really stir that up better I need a little more on here this is already drying up on the tile so yeah this isn't working. This is too thick. I'm sure it'll work, but this, yeah, man, this is so inconsistent still. It's chunky. See this denatured alcohol dries so quickly. Yeah, I can see, I can see the thickness changes in there. I'm just gonna, gonna rinse that off. Well, I don't know if that was a failed experiment quite. I don't think it was a failed experiment as much as a Need some tweaking experiment. The denatured alcohol dries up or evaporates so quickly. Once you get it spread out over the tile, there's not much time to really work with it. Just wonder if there's a way I can do this, if I can drip it more along the top and have it come down, something like that. Let's give it another shot. Get a nice full spoon here. Let's see what we can do this way. <laughs> well, it kind of worked. Just went a little errant here in the middle. Just some over here. Wow, that is on there thick. That's not gonna work either. I suppose what I really should do is take my time with the brush and make sure that I have the brush well covered in the mixture before I start trying to paint it on. Is what I found is I'll be painting it on and I get a nice consistent coverage and then I'll make a second pass next to it and it's not so good that's like on two tiles so maybe what I need to do is just do one tile with the brush let's go get the brush <clears throat> Just move that over since this is where I'm going to be working on this. I suppose we can take the spoon out. I'm going to try brushing this on. I'm going to try doing this a little bit differently. 
what I've done in the past, I've typically done two tiles. My first pass usually turns out pretty nicely. Then it's the next pass doesn't. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to do just one tile, get a nice even coat, re-dip the brush, and just do it that way. See if I can get a nice consistent coverage. Okay, I'm not going to re-dip. Maybe I need a new brush. I need more stuff on here. There we go. Just glob it on. That looks a lot better. And I like to keep this covered because that denatured alcohol does evaporate quickly. Um, one thing I want to do is I want to put more denatured alcohol in my mixture and thin that out a bit. Probably get in trouble for doing this on the washing machine. But if I'm careful and clean up, nobody will know. Shh. You can just see that stuff evaporate when you blow on it. I can still see a little bit of waviness in this. It's not as egregious as I had done in the past. Since I have three tiles, I have three and more attempts that I can do. Try to get these just on the sides if I can, so that I'm not scraping any of the titanium dioxide off the surface. Let's give the Battlestar Galactica another try. I think I can maybe darken it up a little bit and hopefully it'll look nicer with the uh, tiles that I've got here. Not so good. Worse and even worse again. This is when I cleaned the lens on the laser. That's what I got after cleaning the lens. Important to do periodic maintenance apparently. Here's the image that got me started on this project. The one on the left is the image of the two actors that played Starbuck. So we have Starbuck and Starbuck having Starbucks at Starbucks, which is kind of funny. They also have their stogies, which is another trademark of the Starbuck character. The font up on top here on the left is kind of an interesting one. If anybody can identify what font that is, why don't you put that down in the comments? I'd be curious if anybody recognizes it. Let's go ahead and get this into light burn and take a look at how those turned out. Here we have the image. I will resize that down to 109. And this image also is very dark. We can see in the actor's clothing is dark, the background very contrasting. So we'll go in and make some parameter changes here. On this one, I'm going to go brightness of 30 and a contrast of negative 35. Here it looks fairly flat. When we do the preview, we'll see that it's, it's not as flat during the preview, and this is what we want to look at for making our judgment for the burn. So these are the parameters that I'm going to use for that. Another thing that we can control that will affect how this looks is our resolution. Right now I'm using a 0.1 millimeter resolution. Um, Lightburn always shows that in dots per inch, which is kind of a printer thing. I think that's kind of funny. So it's 254 dots per inch, as it were. And there's only so fine of a dot we can make with this process. We'll see if we change this to 0.2 and do our preview. We'll see that that looks real grainy now. We're doing half as many dots per inch, as it were. So this isn't going to work. It is something that you can control. Um, if we went even higher than that, let's do the 0 .85, 0 0.085, which I use a lot of times in um, burning coasters that are um, more lines or fill mode. Let's get this bigger. Doesn't look too bad, but fairly dark. So somewhere in between those is probably good. I'm going to stick with the 0.1 and because I know that works fairly well as a general rule. So these are the settings that we'll go with. Let's head over to the laser and get this burned.
Another coaster that I'd like to burn is taking the image of Starbuck and Starbuck with the two Galacticas on it and put the logo here below that. I have my um, tool layer, this orange one, I have 109 millimeters square, so that's kind of the, my working area for a tile. And then I just put the, brought in this image and I converted it to vectors. So this is a, a fill. We can see that over here, but I have that set for filling. And then our image, I went in and changed the contrast and such so that hopefully it'll turn out fairly nicely. It's a little different than the big one. It's a 20 brightness and a negative 48. Uh, we'll see how that turns out. We can get this one over to the laser as well and take a quick burn at that. Once we get everything washed off, I'll uh, show them and see what they look like. Our first one really didn't turn out well and I showed you the other ones where it kept getting worse and worse. Once the lens was cleaned and I got a new tile coated, that was such a difference. It turned out so much better. And then here's our Starbuck and Starbuck having Starbucks at Starbucks. That turned out really well. And our bonus coaster, that turned out well as also. This was a frustrating project, yet a fun project. I need to make sure to keep my lens clean. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy the content of our channel, think about subscribing. Remember to uh, vote for your favorite Galactica, the old one or the new one. And enjoy doing your CNC at home projects. Oops.